Hey y'all, Boogie Knight here, how's it going? And welcome to Sonic Boogie Plays Midnight Scenes. This is actually episode one in a multi-episodic uh, side-scroller horror game. Uh, currently developed by a guy named Octavian Navarro. Um, I actually played another one of Octavian Navarro's games uh, a while ago for the channel called The Librarian. I was very fascinated by it. And recently, Octavia uh, Nevada has released Midnight Seeds Episode 2, so I figured I would dive right into this and see what we can do. So, with that being said, let's dive right in. Shit. Okay, never mind. Claire Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. A flat tire delayed Claire's trip. Little she suspects how this little incident will change her life forever, as well as her perception of reality. Alright, so we got a little radio thing. Um, anyway, so this game is highly um, influenced by the Twilight Zone, so um, very curious to see how this pans out. Um, okay, so we just do point and click, so it's kind of like the light break in that sense. So we'll just turn up the radio then. Brilliant, okay. Um, but I love the librarian, I had a blast playing it, and I know that came after Midnight Scenes. Tonight's episode, The Highway. I feel like I should be doing, like, a John Bailey thing, be like, In a world where that's influenced by the Twilight Zone. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, yeah. So with that being said, let's dive right in, shall we? This is Midnight Scenes Episode 1, The Highway. And actually, after I'm done playing this, I will be playing Episode 2 to just do a back-to-back -back thing. Um, an unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire... She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Okay. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to do the Mr. Sinister voice. Um. Okay, so if it's anything like the librarian, I'm just it's point and click, which is fine. So, uh, let's go ahead. Oh, it highlights. So if there's something of interest. So let's go ahead and see if she electrocutes herself. Guess not. <laughs> Good. So it is kind of like the librarian in that aspect. So I'm guessing our end game is to cross through the barrier and get to that phone sign. Um, okay. So what's this? Hang on. A very creepy, I'm guessing a missing poster. Lovely. The eyes blacked out and the smile blacked out. All right. We're already off to an atmospheric, uh, brilliant end to that. Um, I, I can get that. Um, oh, hang on. Nothing in the car. We just can't get us screaming into the night. Um, I like the attention to detail, how we have the regular tire, and then we have what looks like the flat tar over there. So, very nice. I do like Octavia Navarro's attention to detail. Um, very nice. Um, we have a Hang on, we got a gate here. Got another sign here. Um, it's not letting us click on that, but we do have a latch. So we can do that. And then click to... Okay, cool. Um, hang on, let's just look at the rest of this area and see what else there is to look peruse. Okay, so we can't go any farther with that. Um, got a sign here. And another missing sign. It's turning into Children of the Damned. Not a bad movie, actually. Um... Another one. That's completely torn off. Yeah, no, okay. So I'm guessing... Hang on. Um, looks like this. So we have... Kind of a bull cut here. Kind of a bull cut here. I'm guessing these are probably all the same person that's missing in action. That's a, such a creepy looking photo, I apologize. Yeah, I'm guessing all of these probably hail from the same person. Come on. Come on, Claire. There you go. Alright, so we've got to go through yonder gate. Oh. What's this? Oh, hang on, just a minute. Okay, this music definitely adds to an unsettling air. The fact that truck's still smoking probably means this was recent. Um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling unnerved by this so far. It's in here. It's broken glass. A lot of blood. We've got a photo. Hang on. 
So we got Farmer Cletus, uh, his wife. I think this is the son from the missing posters. Interesting. Combined with all the blood, the plot, it thickens. Uh, can we take it with us? I guess not. Um, can we take the glass with us? No. Can't take the blood with us. Fair enough, obviously. Can we just take the truck and go screaming into the night? Because that would be grand. Um, ooh, hang on. What is this? We've got... Looks like bolt cutters. It's not letting us do anything, but I'm guessing it's probably because it's locked up. It's... Why can't we just slot these out? I mean, it doesn't look like it's locked too tightly. Okay. Um... Nothing over there. What's this? Hang on. Ooh, hang on. We've got, it looks like some rope or maybe some string. As we just throw that off here, it looks like we have a lockbox. Okay, hang on. I'm getting on the watch train now. And we have, it looks like a hammer. Nice. So we can beat stuff. Okay, um, so I'm guessing we need to find a key to unlock this to take the bolt cutters with us. Okay. Um, smell box? What's in here? What is this? Um, looks like a robot of some kind. We got some writing that I can't apparently read. Um, okay, so we're not able to do anything with that, but, huh. It's there for a reason, so I'm guessing we'll come back to that. Um, oh, hang on, I got something over here. So we got a stick figure. A very, very creepy looking dude poking out of something with a peg leg. And a house in the background. And overall, something that's going to haunt my dreams. I'm not sure what that is. That's just downright unsettling. Alright, we'll come back to that. I'm guessing these things will come in handy later on, kind of like the librarian. Um, uh, we got a gate. H hang on! Ah, the shrug, just kind of like the librarian. Brilliant. Um, okay, what is this? Oh. That's a creepy-looking scarecrow. Wait, hang on. Um... Hat man here. Oh, okay, that's a, that's a scarecrow. That's not some sort of... Hang on. That's not sort of some creepy drawing thing. That actually is a scarecrow. That's probably going to tear my face off. Um, hang on, it just it lit up. Oh, it lit up over here. Hang on. Okay, I have no idea what that does. Um, can we smack you with a hammer? Just beat your brains in. What about just tying your hands behind your back? Do that? I guess not. Okay. Um. Ooh, hang on. What's this on the ground? Um. We have. It looks like a mop. What is this? Something we cannot grab. Um. Oh wait. Hang on. Um. Let's go over here. Look at the drawing. Okay, so... Okay, yeah, so... This dude's missing an arm. So... We can... We can use mop handle on here. And it promptly drops to the ground. <laughs> Kinda looks like he's dabbing right there. I can't believe I just made that pop culture reference. Good lord, I'm tired. Alright, um... So, by doing this, we can't do anything. It just drops to the ground. Um... Wait, hang on. Um... We attach this to this... Apparently one lettuce. There we... Oh, damn it to hell. Attach... Wait for it to glow. And then we use the tie. Brilliant. And there we go. <laughs> the gatekeeper has been solved. So let's follow the blood trail. 
into the glowy farmhouse, which looks downright unsettling. Um, okay, we can go in there, but before we do anything, I kind of want to explore this area and see if there's anything of interest. Which, apparently, there's not. What about the blood? Between just the lack of ambience, it's very creepy. But I really do like it so far. Once again, going back to the librarian, Octavia Navarre's spirit, no expense, would just keep in the overall atmosphere. It's rock solid, so I really do appreciate that. Ooh, and I'm definitely very unsettled right now. We've got some pictures up here, let's take a look. Is that some sort of, like, American Gothic thing? I can dig that. Um... Aww. Farmer Cletus, his wife, and, uh, the child. That's still missing. We got a lot of booze bottles here. And somebody apparently liked their drink. Um... Uh, anything on the TV? We also appreciate your feedback here with the Sonic Boogie Project. Yeah, keep that turned off. Um... Barbara Cletus in his truck. No worries, I can get behind that. Um, here. Oh, we got the picture. Looks like they were trying to build Scarecrow of Death. Lovely. Um, anything in the... Okay, this looks like the bog. Let's take a look. Oh! Or that could happen, for instance. I saw a body over here. To find some way to light this place up. Alright, I guess we gotta look for a torch or a flashlight or a lantern or something. Um, nothing in this picture over here. Um, can we go through the door? Yes, we can. Awesome. Um, I like Octavia Navarre because I don't feel the need to go pixel hunting. Everything is subtle but well done, so once you kind of figure out the logic train, you can get behind it. But, I mean, you have to be a fan of puzzle games similar to the Monkey Island and the Thimblewood Park and stuff like that to we'll get behind. So, um, we have a lantern up here. Aw, it does the finger wiggle just like the librarian. Hehehe! <laughs> Too bad you don't have a spirit dagger like that. Oh, well. Um, I am looking forward to playing uh, Episode 2, but I want to showcase this beforehand just to kind of give you guys a baseline of what to expect. Um... Just for the overall brilliance that is Octavia Navarro. Um, we climb here? No, just the finger wiggle. But we do have... It looks like a plank. We'll grab that. Alright, so if A then B, we can slot this in here. That does apparently nothing. Um, I'm missing something? Yeah, I'm missing the bus entirely. Uh, no, I can't do that. Um, what is a stone? It looks like a grave marker. With a horseshoe and some other stuff. Okay, let's grab the horseshoe. Maybe that's of some use. Can't do that. Um, we can't grab the nail, though. Ah, okay, so hang on. So, we do if A, then B. We can combine that, and then we can smack that in here. That she automatically hammers. Okay, good job, Claire. Can we do this now without falling over and breaking our necks? Uh, is there anything here on the table that we can snag? No. Can we actually pull this up, though? Yes, we can! Brilliant. Okay, so... We probably need to use this to go into the bog and look at, um, whatever's happened, but is there anything else over here we can hawk? This ruined treehouse. I guess not. I always wanted to have a treehouse when I was younger, but... Eh, whatever. I think every child wanted a treehouse or some sort of secret clubhouse when they were growing up. But that's just my thought process. Um, okay, so let's go back into the bog, and I think now we can use... Ah! Good lord. Um... Now the blood ends over here, let's go take a look. Oh. Farm... Is that Farmer Cleet? Oh, uh, we have some bandages. Looks like it's been damaged done to the wrists. Gonna go out on a limb and say maybe that wasn't suicide. Even though 
the wrist slitting is usually most equated with that. Um, of course, I'm overanalyzing. Anything here on the feet? Oh, hang on, we've got a key. Herpaderp. Snag that. Anything else we can snag from uh, Farmer Cleat? Cleatus? Guess not. Um. Okay, anything in the tub? That's a negative, Lieutenant. That's a claw-footed bathtub. Look at that. We got a claw foot right there. That's rare. I'm a nerd. I apologize. Um, can we pick this back up? Nope. I didn't ask to leave. I wanted to pick up the uh, lantern. Well, I guess it's gonna stay put there. Um. So what can we use the key for? Oh, hang on. The thing in the truck. The, the lock on the truck thing. So let's go back out here. Let's go back to the truck. And then we can use the... Supposedly use that on... The bolt cutters. Grab this. We got a pickaxe, too. And a shovel. Neither of which we can use. Um... Hang on. Um... Oh, we can use we can use the bolt cutters on the uh, on the wires, and then we can go speeding off into the night and hope for the best. At least I think so. We've exhausted everything else. So if A then B. Um. Hang on. Um. Go for the glowy. Oh, there we go. Snip, snip. How did she do that without, ele without electrocuting herself? Is it because it was the wooden handles? Could be. Cancels out that. Can we now cross over without zapping ourselves? Use the emergency phone? Yes, we can. Um. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh! Oh! We have another broken down car. That can't be good. Is that what maybe caused the electric thing to begin with? What the? Oh, hell. Good lord. That ain't good. Um, can we inspect this? No, we can't. Do we really have to inspect the dead bodies? Uh, apparently we do. Great. Uh, bleh. Bloodstained hand. Looks like a map of some sort. Uh, in the Hall of the Mountain King. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like some sort of thing. map. We can't take it with us. It's just stuck here. Okay, so we'll go back to that. Later on. Uh, what about her? What is that? What in the world? It's like a doorway, a child, more blood coming from the hand, more writing I can't read, and clipboard. Uh, I don't like this. What about body number three? Actually, let's look at the. We can't go into the truck, though I'm sure that'll be. Kind of productive looking at the smoke coming. This, this all looks really recent. Um, okay, let's look at this next third body, number three. Either Medusa or a child with electrodes plugged into his head. Is this the same child from the missing posters? Are these things mutually interchangeable? Uh, nothing here. Is this child like Alma from the Silent Hill saga? Some powers that are yet to be explained. This is creepy. Uh, oh, hang on, we got the phone here. Brilliant. Let's go ahead and uh, dial up. Nine nine nine. And nothing but static. Oh God, we have another missing poster here with a child right below the phone. Come on. Um. Okay, so it's not letting us dial any numbers. Although it is used, it does have rotary phone. That is kind of chill. I can get behind that. That's cool. Very nice attention to detail, Octavia. Oh, 
the good God Almighty. Can we just run away? No, we can't. Do I have to click on you? Because I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, I guess we have to. Ah, hell. Are you okay, dude? Oh. What? Hey, what did... Is that a cigarette? Can you light one up? Oh, that's the child with... That's the missing child. That's Alma's a guy. Interesting. Claire Barnes, age 29, with great effort she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Oh, come on, game! Don't do me dirty like this! Still terrified, she stopped at the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform about the disturbing events she had just witnessed. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of road. No signs of any crash or the presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found, quote, a bit drunk but in good condition. Not a single word was written in any newspaper at the horrors Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all. That she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Damn it! Ah, oh, come on, game! Not cool, leaving us on a cliffhanger. Oh, God. I like this a lot. Um, it was brief. Kind of, once again, kind of like a librarian, but it wasn't difficult, but it wasn't easy. I mean, you really, once again, had to get on the logic train for that, but I really did like it. Uh, it's not for everybody. You kind of have to be a puzzle fan for that, which, you know, isn't everybody's bag, but yeah, I, I leave that to y'all. So I am looking forward to playing uh, episode two, which I'll probably do in the next day or so and getting prepped for that. If episode 2 is anything like Episode 1 or The Librarian or the other works of um, Octavia Navarro's, I'm extremely excited. But my opinion doesn't matter. Only y'all's does. So let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. So um, uh, with that being said, before I call it a day, if you like the Sonic Boogie Project and you want to check out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel, and links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my Twitch page, and if you have some money you want to burn without running it off a bridge, my Patreon account. So, otherwise, with that being said, y'all have a fantastic afternoon, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.